Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight we got the Big 12 title game. 8-4 South Dakota State taking on the 11-1 VMI Cadets. This should be a fun game. Uh, the Cadets won the Big 12 championship last season. I believe they actually took on South Dakota State last year as well. So let's see if we can have a repeat. Or let's see if these South Dakota State Jackrabbits can come out of here and, uh, you know, pull off the upset against the fifth-ranked Kidets. Let me just post this in the Discord, and we will get this game started. This is a subscriber versus subscriber game. So I will not be using any of the teams here tonight. All right. Got that all posted, and we are good to go. All right, who's here? Who we got? We got Tyler Rocky in the chat, and Big Geo, Jay Balmer, the freshman tight end for the fifth-ranked Kedets. Glad to see you in the chat, buddy. This should be a fun game. Hope you guys are ready for this one. BMI was against South Dakota State last conference championship. Yes, they were. Man, the Cadets won it last season. I can't remember the score, but I do know that they won it, and I think it was a pretty easy win for them. All right. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Man, we're going to get into this game. Let's do it. The number three offense in the nation versus the number uh, nine offense in the nation. The only, <laughs> the big disadvantage here is South Dakota State's defense, 113th in the nation. VMI's is uh, 15th in the country. Very solid defense for them. But we did go ahead and get a bunch of recruits for South Dakota State for the in-season recruiting. So, I mean, they got that going for them. I'm not really going to look at any stats here tonight. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at the schedules for both of these teams see what happened so far this season get you guys caught up Bryson Shields in the chat what's going on brother all right South Dakota State won their first game 56 53 versus Army and then the next week they allowed a 500 yard rusher and Lawrence Tompkins for the Navy midshipmen then they lost to Buffalo it's a really rough start for them and they beat San Diego 28 21 beat Nichols State beat McNeese State the Cowboys my own 11. Woof. Beat North Dakota State by a few touchdowns. Beat Tennessee Tech by a boatload. Lost to Southeast Missouri State. Blew up Sam Houston State. And lost to VMI in Week 12. So these teams have already faced each other this season. And that was a blowout. A 25-point loss to the Cadets. Beat Furman 64-3. And here we are. VMI, South Dakota State. Let's take a look at the Cadets schedule and they beat Wyoming to start off then beat Western Michigan by a point lost to Cal Poly by 25 points Mustangs 10 and 2 on the season number 8 in the country at the moment beat Western Carolina Nichols State Sam Houston State Southeast Missouri State Chattanooga Mox Southeastern they hung up 70 points on the Lions my goodness and there's the win against South Dakota State they traveled and took out number 15, William and Mary, 35-14. Put up 55 on Tennessee Tech. And here we are for our game tonight. Let's get it. I was thinking about doing a doubleheader tonight, but I, I just don't have the energy tonight, folks. All right. Let's get it. Mason Smith. In the chat, what's going on, buddy? Glad to see you. We'll be seeing you on defense tonight, as well as offense. Missed you most of this season, though, due to that injury. And they really hurt the defense as a whole, overall. Colin Northrup in the chat, what's going on, man? Congrats on the Gladiators' win tonight. All right. And we're going to go ahead and let VMI kick it off. You 
and I'm going to go ahead and switch the controller here. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. All right, that's the only play I'm doing. I'm putting the controller down. And see what happens here is Daly Redding on the return up the middle. And gets it up past the 20-yard line. And the offense for the Jackrabbits, led by freshman quarterback, four-star talent, Tremaine Watson. And he's backed up by Lamar Jackson, Tate Redding, and Jalen Evans. Those are all the quarterbacks. And we actually see Lamar Jackson in here at quarterback. First play of the game, nice completion. Nice little slant route. And that is Reinhardt Wendowski, their number one receiver. Rest of the offense, Daly Redding, Mason Smith, and five-star halfback Chad Collins. Receivers, Ermandowski, we just saw him. Jack Marks and four-star wide receiver Jacob Komen. Two tight ends, and there is a run as Lamar Jackson gets the first down. Browns North and Dayton Down at tight end, and on the offensive line, Chad Filler at tackle, Jake Seahorn, four-star freshman, Dan DeBeers at guard, and Gray North at center. And that last catch for Irwindowski was his 35th on the season and got him over 1,100 yards. And here's a direct snap for Daly Redding in the open field up past the 40-yard line of VMI. Nice 25-yard run for Daly. And he needs just 75 more yards this game to reach 1,000 for the season. Dayton down in the chat. I'm doing good, Mason. Doing good, buddy. Just getting a lot of prep work in for the, the Elite Football League. That's what I've been doing lately. First and 10 from the 36, Lamar Jackson. He's going to take off again. And he'll pick up maybe four yards. He is very dangerous with his legs. The defense for VMI is led by Henry Hamilton at defensive tackle and William Reed at defensive end. Five-star freshman Javon Stewart on the other side of the defensive line. Trey Upton at middle linebacker. Bryson Shields at corner. Here's a play action from Lamar Jackson. Man, open. Nice deflection by Mike Adams. And that is their four-star Juco transfer junior. Strong safety, Mike Adams. And Darius Peters is at free safety for the Cadets. Third down and six, Tremaine Watson in at quarterback, and he's going to be hit as he tries to throw it. And we're going to see a field goal attempt, maybe a punt here from the Jackrabbits. And actually, it looks like they're going to go for it on fourth and six. No, they're not. It's a 49-yard field goal attempt for their freshman kicker. Savannah State Tigers game is tomorrow. It sure is. Rematch with William and Mary. Here's the field goal attempt. Kick is up, and he missed it to the right. Huge stop for the Cadets. And the freshman, unhappy with himself. And with that, we'll take a look at the Cadets offense, led by Justin Hopps at quarterback. A couple halfbacks, Cam Sanders and five-star freshman Ladarius Johnson. At fullback is Matt Keller. They're going to come out in the I formation here, first play of their offensive series. And they're going to toss it out, and Johnson is dropped for a loss of two. Nice play by Mason Smith, the halfback slash outside linebacker. And Trey Upton. Wait, no, excuse me. <laughs> Looking at the defense for VMI. Uh, Joseph Martin and Jason Wright are the receivers. Jake Berry and four-star freshman Jay Balmer at tight end. And they're going to come out. I formation again. Option play. Cam Sanders in the open field. Look out. Up past the 50 to the 45-yard line. Huge run for the sophomore halfback. Jackrabbits defense is really thin. They are led by Frank Theory at defensive tackle, Jamar Hicks at corner, and Chris Major at strong safety. And of course, they have Mason Smith out here playing outside linebacker. And he is an absolute force. All right, play action again here from Hops. Deep shot right side, caught. And that is Jay Balmer, I believe. That is the freshman. Nice reception for him. His 26th on the season. That gets him over 500 yards receiving on the year. We're now 
Now up to 12 viewers in the stream. First down and 10 for VMI, fifth ranked team in the nation. Taking on the 25th ranked Jackrabbits of South Dakota State. Here's a double option, and Johnson picks up maybe a yard. Reinhard Wendowski out here playing some corner as well. He made the tackle, just a one yard run. Second down and nine now from the 22. They will keep it on the ground with an option. Nice block by Matt Keller, and Hops gets the first down. And he is very close to 900 rushing yards this season. Not nearly as many touchdowns this year. He had 13 last season, just eight this year. Knocked him out in the shotgun, handed off to Johnson. And Frank Theory blew that play up. Maybe a yard for the freshman halfback who actually came into this game leading the team in rushing by one yard. 918 for him and 917 for Cam Sanders coming into this game. Now second down and nine, same formation for VMI. And they'll go with the same exact play and they get the same result. This time it is Cam Sanders picking up a yard. And that'll make it third and eight from the eight yard line. I believe they can get a first down, but it'll be very close. Number one team in the nation on third downs, 57 percent hops to throw to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown and that is joseph martin his fourth on the season what a throw from justin hops that's his 28th touchdown toss of the year my goodness that was fantastic bmi strikes first topsy kretz in the chat what's going on man Fantastic drive from VMI after the missed field goal from South Dakota State. All right, seven nothing in the Big 12 championship game. I love doing these games because I don't really have to do a whole lot. I just sit here and commentate. All right, VMI set to kick it off. And that is a good one to the goal line. Daily Redding on the return. And Daily Redding up to the 25 yard line. Nice return from the sophomore halfback. Apologies if the stream lags for a second here. I'm trying to check the Discord pick them. VMI, the overwhelming favorites, 22 votes to just six for South Dakota State. Jermaine Watson out of the shotgun, five wide receivers for the freshman quarterback. And he's going to throw it right side, quick pass, that's caught, and that is Jack Marks on the reception, his 27th of the season. Come out in the shotgun again. Daily Redding to Tremaine Watson's right side. On second down and two. Watson, quick pass left side. It's caught. And that's Jacob Coleman, I believe. Yes, it is. The freshman making his first catch today is 32nd on the season. And he's just three behind Reinhard Wendowski. Shotgun set again for the Jacks. Watson trying to slang it, going right side, overthrows his target, and there's holding on the Jackrabbits, and that is on Jake Seahorn, the freshman right tackle. He's had a decent season at right tackle. He's only allowed six sacks, not bad for his freshman year. And with that penalty, though, it's going to bring up first down and 20 for South Dakota State as they shoot themselves in the foot. Lamar Jackson in a quarterback. Now he throws the pick, and it's Trey Upton. And it is a pick six for the key deaths. Wow. Trey Upton with his first career pick six. I don't know why he threw that pass. That was intended for TJ Maxey. 
not subscriber tight end. And it wasn't even close. Jackson benched this season for Tremaine Watson. That's his 11th pick on the year. He went from being the quarterback of the year last season to getting benched for a freshman. It was just a rough start for him. And it's a rough start in this game for South Dakota State. But there is still plenty of game left. Never count anybody out, especially a top five offense in the nation. You can never count them out. All right, 14 nothing. Jack Rabbit's gonna look to come back out on the field and get something going for themselves. All right. And there was a <laughs> head start right there for the guy on the inside. And he's the first one down there and makes the tackle. My goodness. Great play. <laughs> Don't worry, South Dakota State players. I got you guys a bunch of defensive recruits for in-season recruiting, so your defense is going to be a lot better next season. First down and 10 for South Dakota State as they look to fix their issues. Chaos Driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Lamar Jackson, deep shot left side. Incomplete. Deflected. Again intended for TJ Maxey, the number three tight end on the roster. I don't think we can put you in a quarterback, Mason. <laughs> Second down and 10 now. Mason Smith in the backfield. And they'll go play action. Watson, left side wide open is Jack Marks. And he's got the first down. Nice positive play here for South Dakota State as they look to respond after that pick six. So, so far, a missed field goal and a turnover. Or a, yeah, a turnover, a pick six. And some penalties here for South Dakota State. If they can just stop shooting themselves in the foot, I think they can come back in this game. I don't think it's over by any means. As Jermaine Watson falls forward, picks up a couple yards. Immediate pressure from number 54, non-subscriber linebacker. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you're new. Got another game tomorrow night, the ACC Championship game. Savannah State taking on William and Mary as this pass is caught. Reinhard Rondowski for the first down. Gets out of bounds as well. Nice pass from Lamar Jackson. Coming back after that pick six and making a nice throw. The normal 43-yard line now. Four receivers set for Tremaine Watson. Out of the shotgun with Daly Redding to his side. They're going to hand it off to Daly. And Daly with a nice run, picks up 10 yards. Just 65 yards shy of 1,000 now on the season. Same formation for the Jacks. Watson, nice, rolls out of the pocket, but he throws a pick, and it's Trey Upton again. Returns it up to the 45-yard line. Oh, my goodness. What a play from the middle linebacker. Trey Upton now with five picks on the season, seven for his career. And he read that like a book. My goodness gracious. BMI cruising here in the first quarter now. And they will go triple option here. Hops. Breaks the tackle and still going up to the 35-yard line. Wow, what a run for the QB. And that run gets him over 900 rushing yards for the season. Very athletic quarterback. High formation set now. They're going to hand it off to Matt Keller. Nice cutback for the fullback. Picks up seven yards. Look at the rushing number, 66 for BMI, 45 for South Dakota State. High formation set again for BMI. They'll hand it off to Matt Keller up the middle on the triple option. And they move the chains again. 
Mason Smith makes the stop. And that's going to be the final play of the first quarter. Number five, VMI on top of the 25th ranked South Dakota State Jackrabbits, 14 to zero here in the Big 12 championship game. Single back set, two tight ends. They love running this formation. Got a couple of playmakers at the tight end spot. Here is Ladarius Johnson up the middle and gets it up to the 10 yard line. Great run for the freshman. It looks like both key debt halfbacks will probably get 1,000 rushing yards on the season. Both needing just over 80 yards this game and the next game each to get 1,000. High formation set again for Hops. They'll go option. This play is fumbled, and it is recovered. And I believe that was Jason Wright on the recovery. Not a bad, or not a good pitch, excuse me, by Justin Hops. Now second down and 16. They'll keep it on the ground. Cam Sanders stiff arms the defender and is dropped. Daly Redding making a tackle out there, playing some safety. A uh, pickup of eight yards for Sanders. He's 49 yards now this game to get 1,000. That is going to bring up third down and eight. Frank Theory, Jake Berry, both in the zone. They go with the option. Hops is in for the touchdown. Kedets now up by three scores here in the second. Hops with his ninth touchdown run of the season. 22nd for his career. My goodness. I cannot wait for next season <laughs> to see how much better the Jackrabbits defense is going to be. So I believe I got them six recruits for in-season recruiting. And I believe most of them are on defense. At least five of them. So those are all going to be, obviously those are all going to be starters. So if you guys are looking to get a player and you want to be on the defensive side of the football, you're going to want to go ahead and join South Dakota State next year and make an immediate impact. Blowout alert, listen Marvin, it's still two quarters, well, almost three full quarters left, all right? <laughs> Give them time, man. I know they're down three scores, but there's still plenty of game left here. And here is Daly Redding on the return. Nice return for Daly up past the 30-yard line. Still doesn't have a kick return for a touchdown this season. I'll take it. Just hold on to the football. And Tremaine Watson is going to be sacked. Huge hit by the non-subscriber defensive tackle, Jackson. It looked like a broken play. Might have been uh, play action there, but Daly Redding never took the fake handoff. Don't argue with me, Rocky. Don't do it. Second down and 11 now for South Dakota State. After the one yard loss on the sack. Watson, quick pass, right side, nice catch. Very dangerous, almost picked off by Phillips. That'll bring up third down and three now. And they're gonna come out under center here. Mason Smith behind Watson. And they hand it off. Mason Smith has the first down up towards midfield around the 49. Nice run for the sophomore halfback slash linebacker. Mason Smith was second on the team last season in tackles behind Chris Major, who was our only player to go over triple digits on the season. And he probably would have done the same this season as well. He was injured and missed the majority of the year. And Lamar Jackson is going to be sacked. Boy, oh boy, a loss of 10. And that was William Reed 
on the sack. That'll be his 13th on the season. He combined with Trey Upton on that one. Second and 20. Man, oh man. Five receivers. Watson is going to be sacked again. My goodness. What are they doing? <laughs> man. A loss of four on that play. And that was, wow, not even fair. That was just way too easy. Mark Jackson back in at quarterback. He gives them a speed threat here. If he gets pressure, he can try to run out of the pocket. Three receivers to the left side. And Jackson will try to throw deep down the field. And incomplete. Intended for Daly Redding. So the Jacks now have to punt it away from their own 34-yard line with their freshman punter. George on for the punt. Bryson Shields back to return. And this is a good one to the 10-yard line. And here is Shields rocked at the 19-yard line by Brahms North, the tight end. I formation now for VMI. And hops with a lot of space in front of him. Look out! Up past midfield to the 48-yard line. He's got 70 yards tonight. You're going to pull Avante Davis and announce you're leaving at halftime? Oh, my goodness. That's tough. <laughs> Don't quit, Mason. <laughs> they need you. The score might be worse without you. All right, first down and 10. And they're going to go option. Hops, pitches it out, and Sanders breaks a tackle and then gets rocked by Mason Smith. Nice tackle. Just a one yard pickup for the Kedets. Two tight ends set again for VMI. Option attack again. Pitches it out. But Darius Johnson breaks the tackle. He's gone. Touchdown, VMI. Johnson gets his 12th of the year. That leads the team. 47-yard run for the freshman. Wow. He's absolutely obliterated Reinhard Romandowski trying to play some cornerback out there. Did all he could. Jackrabbits, of course, are without their freshman corner, Goku Lee, who had the game-winning interception return for a touchdown against San Diego. Kelvin Jasper Jr. in the chat. What's going on, buddy? BMI cruising right now in the Big 12 title game. <laughs> Entering the transfer portal. Oh, man. I mean, at least the game last night, Tennessee State put up a fight. The scoreboard didn't tell anything like that, but... <laughs> they, were, uh, they were doing pretty decent. Here is Jamar Hicks on the return up to the 24. Hicks with two kick returns for touchdowns on the season. Five punt returns for scores. He's got 14 total returns for touchdowns in his career. BMI is on fire. Absolutely. They're just clicking on all cylinders. Here is Lamar Jackson to throw. He's going to be sacked again. And that is Henry Hamilton, the defensive tackle. That's his ninth on the season. He had six last year, so improving his number by three right now. My goodness. And that was Dan DeBeers. 
and Mason Smith trying to block him. If they credit De Beers with the sack allowed right there, that'll be his first of the season. He's got 53 pancakes, no sacks allowed coming into this game. Second down and 18 for the Jacks. Lamar Jackson out of the shotgun. Throws it deep, left side. And incomplete intended for Reinhard Wendowski. My goodness. Set you up with a LeBron decision interview. <laughs> oh man. Well, hey, if your if your guy decides to transfer in the game, we'll let it happen, man. Third down and 18. They're just gonna run the ball here with Daily Redding. And South Dakota State looking like they gave up already. Wow. A beatdown? Absolutely, Calvin. <laughs> Absolutely. Just way too many mistakes in the first half so far for South Dakota State. And their defense just doesn't have enough manpower to to keep the, keep the team in the game. And here is Bryson Shields on the return up to the 49-yard line. Five punt returns for scores in his career. He's also got three kick returns for touchdowns in his career as well. Kedets start off the drive with their 49-yard line. Looking to capitalize on some great field position yet again. Hops, five receivers. And quick pass, left side, caught. Joseph Martin, there's holding though. Back him up 10 yards. Watch him ask to leave after the season. That'd be crazy. <laughs> like your in-game character heard you. First down at 20 now. South Dakota State finally gets something to go their way. More like didn't even show up. <laughs> That's so hurtful. Hey, they made it here, all right? Hops to throw again. Wide open. Overthrows Sanders. Oh, my goodness. Where was the coverage on that one? Outrageous. Closest guy was about 15 yards away. And they're going to come out with five receivers again. Hops. Right side. Caught. This time Sanders has it. And he'll pick up five yards on the sideline. Sanders with his 11th catch of the season. Brings up third down and 15. And they're going to keep coming out in five wide receivers set. Hops. Good pass over the middle. Jay Ballmer has it up to the South Dakota State 49-yard line. And we're going to most likely see a punt here. And we will. Back up to 14 viewers on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community today if you want to get a career started in this series for one of our 12 FCS schools. We'd love to have all you guys in there. And a nice punt from Shaw. And that is going to be fair caught at the 14-yard line. And if you're South Dakota State, just don't turn the ball over again <laughs> with 37 seconds left in the half. Chad Collins getting his first playing time at halfback and they're gonna throw it out his way. He's wide open. Chad Collins, the five-star halfback, up past midfield. They're not gonna catch him. He is gone. A streak of lightning. Touchdown South Dakota State just like that. My goodness. Michael Gregory in the chat. What's going on, bud? And that is Chad Collins' first career touchdown reception. 86 yarder. My goodness. Nice little touchdown pass for Lamar Jackson, his 12th on the season, 46th for his career, and it's now 28-7. The Jackrabbits showing some signs of life. Let's 
soon as he caught that ball, I, I knew he was gone. He's so fast. And they were running man coverage, had a linebacker covered up on him. And that you're just you're not gonna win that battle. And a nice kickoff, my goodness. Martin gonna kneel it down. 25 seconds left in the half now. Cadets trying to notch their 12th victory on the season. South Dakota State trying to get their ninth of the year. Cam Sanders is in the zone. They're going to go play action, though. Deep shot down the middle and just over the hands of Jason Wright. My goodness. South Dakota State 3-2 three all-time in subscriber games. VMI 3-3 three three all-time. If I'm not mistaken, I believe VMI's, all three of their wins are against South Dakota State, I believe. Cam Sanders is going to lose a yard on the carry. LeFew on the tackle. Non-subscriber linebacker. Is Ladarius Johnson up the middle of the field gets the first down, and they're gonna call a timeout. He's got 76 yards tonight. First down and 10 now. Five wide receivers set for VMI. High snap for Hops. He's got a man wide open on the right side of the field, and Frank Theory brings him down by the face mask. So another miscue here for the Jacks. And that gets them up to their own 39-yard line now. Head coach Jim Langer upset on the sideline. And it looks like they're going to run this clock out. Maybe call a timeout and go Hail Mary. No, they're just going to let the clock run out. Okay, then. 28-7 is our score at halftime. Number 5 VMI on top of the 25th ranked South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Second half should be pretty exciting. The Cadets do get the ball to start the half. And they've been pretty dominant so far on offense. Well, and basically the defensive side of the ball as well. But their ground attack has just been ferocious. And I fully expected it against one of the worst defenses in the nation. Joseph Martin on the return from the goal line. He's going to get it up past the 20-yard line to about the 25. Can't even imagine how good South Dakota State would be with a top 75 or top 50 defense. They'd probably have 10 wins right now. 100%. Shotgun set here for VMI. Hops breaking a tackle. Mason Smith drags him down after a 6-yard carry. And Smith is hurt again. He missed most of the season with an upper arm fracture and now he's hurt once again. Jackrabbits just cannot catch a break. Unbelievable. Guys running all over the field making all sorts of plays for this defense and just can't seem to stay on the field. Hopefully it's not the same arm that he already injured this year. And Hops is going to be dropped for a loss of five by Red. That's the man filling in for the injured Mason Smith. Third down and seven now. Two tight ends set. Hops over the middle and it's caught for the first down by Jay Balmer. Thirteen first downs tonight for the Kedets. And Mason Smith is done for the game. My goodness. Huge loss for the Jackrabbits. And here's Cam Sanders up the middle. He's going to pick up six yards. 
They just lost so much speed and athleticism on the defensive side of the football. Feels bad. And at least we'll see Smith back for their bowl game. Single back set for VMI. Option attack again. Hops pitches it out. Cam Sanders in the open field. Dragged down at the 31. And it's coming back. Flipping, and that's Jones' second penalty of the ball game. That'll make it second down and 18 now for VMI. Five wide receivers set. Hops in the shotgun. High snap. And he's going to throw it deep downfield. And it's dropped by Joseph Martin. And there's another flag for holding. And this time it's on Leach. My goodness. VMI going way back now. Second down and 28 from their own 21-yard line. Jeez Louise. Hops under center, high formation. They will throw it, or try to at least. Hops over the middle, nice deflection. Third down and 28 upcoming. This could be huge for South Dakota State if they can get a stop here. BMI 4 of 5 tonight on third downs. This is <laughs> a tall task here on this one now. Hops going to take off. And he is dropped short, obviously, at the 29-yard line. Brings up fourth down and 20. Jackrabbits catch a break. They just need to put up some points on the board. Shaw had a 35-yarder earlier that was down inside the 20. Can he get another nice punt? Yes, he can. Jamar Hicks back to return from his own 22. And Hicks dropped at the 27. And the freshman quarterback, four-star talent, Tremaine Watson, comes out in the shotgun with four receivers. Try to throw it right side, and it's caught. Nice reception, and I believe that is Jack Marks. Yes, it is once again. Having a pretty good game for himself. I believe that's his fourth reception. That'll give him 30 for the season. Jack Rabbits have so many targets on offense, and that was his 30th catch. But they have so many targets on offense, nobody really stands out as far as a lot of receptions and Jackson's going to be sacked again it's Henry Hamilton his second tonight and the defensive tackle just got his 10th of the season brings up second down and 16 three receivers to the right side for Lamar Jackson Gonna throw wide open, out of bounds. Not a good throw intended for Jack Marks. Actually, they said he caught it. Wow, that's gonna bring up third down and one. There is no way he caught that. <laughs> wow, that is insane. Apparently, a huge catch for Jack Marks. His 31st of the year. Chad Collins in the backfield. They're gonna hand it off to the freshman. And did he get enough? No, he did not. Fourth and inches for South Dakota State. Huge stop. Let's see if they go for it. And it looks like they're going to punt it away. Unbelievable. I would 100% go for this every single time. That is crazy. And that is a pretty good punt. And they're going to let it go into the end zone. My goodness. Show the replay. I can't show the replay, Tyler, because then it's going to go to the 
terrible camera angle, and I won't be able to switch it back. It's not that important anyway, because they didn't get the first down. Hops under center, two tight ends set again. Single back set with Ladarius Johnson, number two in the backfield. And they will hand it off to the freshman, breaking a tackle, still going, and gets a yard on the play. I believe he needs less than 10 yards for 1,000 on the season. Come out with two tight ends again. Matt Keller is back there at fullback now. And they're going to throw it. Wide open is Jake Berry. Look out. Jake Berry with the speed up to the 33-yard line. Finally tracked down by Reinhard Rubendowski. That's a 46-yard reception. Jake Berry with his 33rd catch of the year. That leads the Cadets. Justin Hopps playing a pretty good game here tonight under center. And Frank Theory is in the zone for South Dakota State. Hops out of the shotgun. Both halfbacks in the backfield with him. They're going to go option. Hops pitches it out. And Johnson is dragged down after maybe four yards. Hope you guys had a wonderful Tuesday. And I hope your day tomorrow is just as good or better. Second down and six, Ladarius Johnson, first down. Oh my goodness, that was such a huge hole that the offensive line opened up for him. It was like the parting of the Red Sea. High formation, Jake Berry in the zone. Hops on the option. Hops, first down and more down to the two yard line. He's got 93 yards tonight. There's 29 more and he'll have 1,000 rushing yards this season. First and goal from the two yard line. Johnson is the halfback. And they're gonna go option and Hops pitches it out. Nice tackle. Drop at the four yard line, Moss who is now the number two corner, has seven tackles tonight. He's filling in for the injured Goku Lee. Six place, 76 yard drive, over two minutes off the clock for VMI. And they come out with two tight ends again. Option, hops, pitches it out, and Johnson has the end zone for his second time tonight. He has 13 touchdowns on the ground this season. My goodness. BMI cruising to another Big 12 title. This will be two in a row if they can hold on. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you are new and join our Discord community today to get your college football career started in this dynasty on one of our 12 schools. Got over 120 members in the Discord now, I believe. Shaw on for the kickoff for BMI. Nice kick to Daly Redding about four yards deep in the end zone. He's going to kneel this one down. And the drive will start at their own 20-yard line with one more play left here in the third quarter. The lackluster defense and injuries this season for South Dakota State has just taken their toll. And this is most likely going to be their fifth loss of the season. And here is Chad Collins in the backfield for Tremaine Watson. 
Hand it off, and that will be the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. One quarter left in the Big 12 championship game here in Houston, Texas, with the number five VMI Cadets, 11-1 on the season, taking on the 25th ranked South Dakota State Jackrabbits, who are 8-4 on the year. Second down and nine for South Dakota State. Three receivers to the right side. And Watson is going to be sacked again. Boy, oh boy. Non-subscriber defensive end coming in there, getting the sack. Man, that was just way too easy. Third down and 14 now for the Jacks offensive line that has four subscriber linemen on it are just getting bullied tonight. Five wide receivers for Watson. And pressured and sacked again. The same player. Just 18 yards rushing for the Jacks tonight. And that is going to be the nail in the coffin. My goodness. Very quick three and out. And you've got non-subscriber players out there just leveling your quarterback. It's time to hang it up. <laughs> Stop it, they're already dead. <laughs> yeah, rough showing here tonight. A couple standouts for the Jackrabbits, though. Chad Collins with that 86-yard touchdown reception. Here's a nice punt. And returned up to midfield. Mason Smith, of course, running around out there, making a bunch of tackles. Getting injured, though. And VMI has their backup quarterback in now. High snap for Wallace. And he's going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. Am I going to do a thumbnail? No, I'm not going to do it. I think the one we got on now is pretty good. I think that's what I'm going to do for our subscriber versus subscriber matchups from now on. Here is Wallace getting dropped for a loss again. And on the tackle is Holland, non-subscriber corner. BMI 4 of 6 tonight on third downs. Third down of 14. Wallace with 5 targets to throw to. And he's going to throw it deep down the left side. That's caught. Oh, my goodness. Inside the 10-yard line. Beats Jamar Hicks and Daly Redding. It's a non-subscriber receiver out here just torching. Just torching. Two subscriber players who are really fast. Wow. Another third down conversion here for the Cadets. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. High formation set. Option attack. Wallace. Oh, couldn't quite get the pitch out to Johnson. That would have been his third touchdown of the game. And it should have been. If he pitched it just a split second sooner. Frank Theory in the zone at defensive tackle. Wallace on the option, and Wallace has a touchdown run. Warm up the bus. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be a long bus ride home to Brookings, South Dakota. Woo. Man. The ground attack of VMI was just too good today. Way too good. In the defense as well. Minus the one play. 42 7 here in the fourth. Backup quarterback <laughs> leading a touchdown drive for VMI. And oh man. Our next game is out tomorrow night. That is number three VMI, or not number three VMI, number three Savannah State, rather, taking on the William and Mary Pride for the ACC Championship game. 
Tigers need a win for a chance at a national championship berth. Will they get it? Or will the Tribe pull off the upset in a rematch from earlier this season? Find out tomorrow night around 8.30, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Should be a fun game. First one was a struggle in the first half for the Tigers. Finally exploded in the second half and got a bunch of points. And there is Chad Collins getting blown up. I don't know who this Crowell kid is, but he is pretty darn good. Three, uh, three tackles. All of them for a loss tonight for him. And two sacks. And all the backups are now in for VMI on offense and defense. And Watson to throw. The pass left side. Caught Jacob Coleman. And he's going to be dropped after maybe two or three yards on the reception. Brings up third down and eight for South Dakota State. Lamar Jackson now in there at quarterback. And all the backups are now in for the Jackrabbits as well. Play action. Lamar, and he is picked off again. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> His second interception thrown tonight. Gives him 12 on the season. Wallace leading his team back out on the field again. Pretty solid backup quarterback. Filled in for Hops during an injury this season for a couple games. And he played pretty well. Here's the backup fullback getting a carry. And that's going to be coming back. 15-yard clipping call. On Jay Balmer. His first mistake of the night. Pick City out here. <laughs> a little bit. First down and 19 after the penalty by the freshman tight end. Just over two minutes left in the ball game. Wallace under center. Johnson very close to 100 yards rushing tonight, I believe. There's the backup fullback again getting a nice carry. And he actually picks up five yards on the run. Same formation for the cadets as they just look to run this clock out. On the ground with a fullback, he'll pick up a couple more yards, making it third down and 12 for VMI now. Shotgun set for Wallace. Johnson to his left. And a backup fullback to his right. And Wallace going to go with the quarterback draw, and he breaks it loose to the outside and moves the chains again. My goodness, what a run for Paul Wallace. Sounds like a 7th century explorer. See if they'll get in the end zone again here with less than a minute left in the ball game. And they're going to hand it off to Johnson, and he's going to pick up five more yards. And that might have just got him over a thousand for the season. We'll see here in a moment. I don't think it did. He's very close, though. 
Second and five, possibly the last play of the ball game. to Johnson who breaks a tackle gets to the outside and Johnson has his third touchdown of the game when it rains it pours oh my goodness 14 touchdowns on the ground now for Johnson unbelievable they had to have got him over a thousand yards rushing on the season that's the final 48 to 7 PMI cruises to an easy Big 12 championship. 9-0 in conference this season. Two straight Big 12 titles for head coach Rondé Barber. There's Justin Hopps, star quarterback of the team. Phenomenal performance on all sides of the football tonight for VMI. All right, let's take a look at some stats, shall we? And you guys are going to hear me turn my fan on for my, my computer because I don't want it to explode. So, yeah, what's up? All right, 421 yards of offense for VMI, 278 on the ground, 143 through the air. South Dakota State was sacked seven times. They were one of seven on third downs. They threw three picks. VMI had zero turnovers and dominated the time of possession. My goodness. And pretty consistent through each quarter. Collins with the 86-yard touchdown reception. That was the only score of the day for the Jackrabbits. And let's take a look at them first, shall we? 4 of 10, 120 yards, one touchdown, two picks for Jackson. Watson with 6 of 8, 51 yards on a pick. You sacked four times, though. Jackson sacked three times. Daily Redding, 38 yards rushing tonight. Started off strong, and then they just stopped giving him the football. I don't know what happened. But it wasn't good. Jack Marks, five catches, 61 yards. That led the Jack Rabbits tonight. Ermandowski, two for 19. And that gives Ermandowski 36 Catches on the year for over 1,100 yards. One drop for TJ Maxey. Chad Filler did allow a sack today. That was the first, or that was his ninth of the season. Dan DeBeers did not get credited with that sack allowed. And they gave it to Mason Smith on that one play. So Dan DeBeers still has yet to allow a sack this season. Smith, four tackles tonight. Rondowski with four. Just a lot of people had tackles tonight. My goodness. Another Lamar Jackson that couldn't get it done in a championship game. Oof. <laughs> so hurtful. But so true. One sack for Frank Theory. And that gets Theory 10 on the season. Not a bad year for him. Dwight Turner missed a field goal tonight. George did a pretty decent job punting the football for South Dakota State. 49-yard average. And nothing crazy on returns for South Dakota State. Take a look at VMI. Wallace, one of 144 yards. Hop, 6 of 9, 99 yards. Touchdown, no pick. Sacked one time. Johnson, over 100 yards rushing tonight. And both running backs are over 1,000 yards rushing for the season now, actually. Oh, no, Cam Sanders is not. Sorry, I thought Sanders had 93, but he only has 41. So Sanders is going to need 42 more yards in their bowl game. The Hops with 93 yards tonight. He is very close to 1,000 rushing yards this season. Hops did have a fumble. Balmer led the team in catches with 3 for 40. Sanders is 1 for 5. Jake Berry, 1 for 46. Joseph Martin, 1 for 8. And a score. 
Jake Berry, nine pancakes for the tight end. Wow. Unbelievable. Miles Dawkins begun a new dynasty. Yes, he did with uh, Texas Southern, I believe. I just saw that. I might watch it. Probably not. A couple sacks for Hamilton. A couple for Devin Crowell. Freshman defensive end, non-subscriber player. Trey Upton, of course, with two picks tonight. Little linebacker just balling out. Look at all these sacks. Seven sacks for the defense. Unreal. And DJ Woods had the other pick for BMI. Three deflections tonight for the defense. No forced fumbles. And, of course, the defense a touchdown for Trey Upton. All right. Spread the word about my channel on Miles Dawkins' video. I love you guys. I believe I got a couple subscribers commenting on some of his stuff before. I try not to, though. I don't want to, like, take away from his content, you know? Plays of the game, Chad Collins, Moss, Frank Theory, Trey Upton, Ladarius Johnson, and Justin Hops for VMI. 12-1 on the season. South Dakota State drops to 8-5. and five. On the year, there is the Big 12 title for the VMI Cadets. Fantastic season for them. They have a strong case for the national championship game as well. And we're going to go ahead and save it. That's our next game right there. Number 15, William & Mary taking on the third-ranked Savannah State Tigers in the ACC championship game in Jacksonville, Florida. I will see you guys with that one tomorrow night. Until then, take it easy, guys.